Welcome everybody to part 8 of my Unity VR guide. Today we'll be covering socket interactors. We'll learn how to make socket interactors, how to use attach points to position our objects correctly, how to use layer masks to only allow certain objects to attach, and how to use sockets to place items on ourselves. If you haven't been following this series, no worries. Every part is modular and can be done independently from all the others. Just download the GitHub project provided below, open up the project, and go to the corresponding scene to follow along. If you like a written tutorial, you can also find one in a link below as well. Opening up the project and going to the right scene, this part eight socket interactors, we are going to be greeted with this. Quite a lot more going on than we normally do. As you can see, I have a mirror that I've added here, which is pretty cool. I have a wall that I've placed these hooks. I mean, they're really just cubes, but they're gonna be hooks for this video. And I have some hats, pretty cool. Uh, if you want, you can actually download these hats. They're provided by Unity and I'll send a link down in the description below. And going over a few other things, we have a locomotion system that's gonna use continuous movement on the left-hand controller. And besides that, I think that's our scene. So with the scene reviewed, let's talk about socket interactors and what are they? Well, what they are are interactors that allow you to attach items to them. So like these hooks, we're gonna attach these hats to later, or you can also put it on your person and attach items to that. So like a gun and a gun holster. With that, let's turn one of our hooks into a socket interactor. So I'm gonna start with hook one. I'm gonna go to add component and type in socket interactor. And there we are. Now it is a socket interactor, but we do have to play with it a bit. Now, in order to get this socket interactor to work properly, first we have to kick things off by turning this to is trigger. And I'm gonna increase the size of this collider a bit because I don't wanna have to run my hat into it just for it to notice it. Uh, I'm gonna do 244. There we are. And so you'll see if the hat enters anywhere within this region, it will then allow itself to attach to it. Now, before I press play and we have some fun in here, I want to go over the attributes really quickly of the socket interactor. So first we got the interaction manager that's in charge of the interactions between the interactor and the interactable object. Then we have the interaction layer mask and that will allow us to interact with certain things on that mask. We have an attach transform, which is going to be the attach point for objects that are interacting with our socket interactor. Next, we have start selected interactable. And what this will do is if we take an object from the scene and attach it here, it will attach the interactable object to itself when we start up the scene. Uh, we also have show interactable hover meshes, and I have that set to true. And what this will do is it will make a hover mesh when we are hovering over the socket interactor. So it kind of signifies to the player like, oh, this object can actually attach here. And we can also play with the hover mesh material. So if we can change it if we'd like, we can also give it a mesh if it can't hover over it and also adjust the hover mesh scale. So we can make it look gigantic or small. Last, we have a socket active. So this is whether or not the socket will actually interact or we could turn it off. And then we have a recycled delay time. And this is gonna be the amount of time the socket will refuse hovers after an object has been removed. So if you're having some weird errors because you're adding and removing objects all the time, uh, try to play with this variable a bit. With that, let's start up the scene and see what we have. All right, uh, I'm gonna grab this hat. I'm gonna put it on the socket, but as you can see, it's not really attaching correctly. So let's fix that. Coming back to our editor, we have to ask ourselves, how are we going to fix this? And if you remember a little earlier, I mentioned there is an attach transform. So what we need to do is add a new object here, create empty, I'm gonna call this attach point. And we need to change this attach points transform and hook it into here. So, you know, I'm gonna get that out of the way right now but it still won't align correctly. We need to get the right rotation and position so the hat looks correct. And there's actually a pretty neat trick for this. What we do is we press play and start up the scene and we will put our hat there while using the VR headset. And once the hat is attached, we are going to take our head mounted display off, whatever you're using, and we are going to rotate the hat in the scene. Coming back to the editor, notice that my play button's still going, and uh, you know what? If I try to rotate the police cap on its own, it's not gonna work, but 
What I need to do is use our new attach point because that's what it's attached to. So let's rotate that and move the transform here a bit. And once we have that in position, what we want to do is go over and copy the transform. And once we've copied the transform of the attach point with the correct rotation and position, then we want to stop pressing play. Okay, and now that we've stopped pressing play, all we have to do is make sure we've selected our attach point, right click here and paste component values. And now we'll have the right position and right rotation. Pretty cool. Now that our hats are hanging up correctly, we have another issue. And that's the fact that almost any grab interactable would be able to hang up on our hat hook. And so to fix that, we are going to play with the interaction layer mask. Starting off, I'm gonna go ahead and select our hook here and go to its interaction layer mask. And it has everything selected. I'm gonna select nothing. And for this project, I already added the hat layer. And so there. Now this will only interact with things that are labeled hats, but also our hats, I don't believe are labeled as hats. So let's fix that. But you know, what? it's kind of annoying doing all that here. I'm gonna go into our prefabs folder and I am just gonna go ahead and select all of these. And then I am going to go to the interaction layer mask, nothing, and then hat. There we are. Now all our hats should act as hats. The last thing that is missing from all of this is the fact that our hats aren't wearable. So let's make our hats wearable. Uh, select the main camera. We're going to right click it, go to XR socket interactor. And then once we've done that, we actually should be good to go for the most part. Let's see, we have a sphere collider. It's set to is trigger. That's good. And you know what? We want it only to interact with hats. We don't want to put any tennis balls or anything like that on our heads. And if we start up the seed now, let's see. And if I reach down on the table and put it on my head, there you go. I can wave to myself in the mirror. Hello, handsome. Uh, yeah, we have wearable hats. And think of this like you could use this as gun holsters or anything like that in the future. Just kind of experiment and play with this. Also, if you want for practice, there are still two hooks left that aren't socket interactors. So if you want to, practice makes perfect. If you enjoyed this content, liking the video is the best way to help me out. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.